Is um, I'm in my dorm. This is the hallway. This is my room. Let me go in there so people don't think I'm a creeper for standing in the hallway with a video camera. Um, but I promised to do a setup tour a while ago uh, for my dorm because a lot of people liked the one that I did of my room. So I figured I'd kind of you know do one in my dorm as well so you can see everything set up. So here's a quick overview. Um, here's my desk, a little messy right now, and uh, I'll explain everything that's going on with that in a second. Um, there's fridge mini fridge and uh, microwave with some stuff and there's more stuff and uh, there's the bed. Um, I apologize in advance, my, my dorm's really messy right now because I'm in the process of getting things packed up to go home so I'm sorry for like random things on the floor and whatever and man I need to take out the trash, look at that. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first off, you know, a lot of people are always like, man, how, how, you know, how can people hear you from outside your room? Well as you can see here, you know, this is the chair and then uh, I can like reach my arm out here. You can see like it's not that far from my computer desk to the door. And there's actually like cracks. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if I can get it on camera. I might be able to. Anyways, there's like a, cr this crack is pretty big. And um, you can hear noise, I guess, through that. Anyways, uh, so let's get into the setup part. So first off, I use the, uh, the Blue Yeti microphone, um, which is right here. And it's on a very nice stand. Um, it's a Nuweer stand, a, a Nuweer. I don't, I, I don't know the brand name, but um, it's just your standard mic arm, and um, it clamps onto your desk, and you know it fits the it fits the microphone. Unfortunately, since the Blue Yeti is heavy, I can't like have it like this because it'll just go back down. But um, if you want to leave it like this or flip it up like this, it actually stays as well. Um, so. If, if this fits your setup and you've got a Blue Yeti, I would recommend it. If you want a link, I can probably put in the video description. So here's a weird part of the mic setup. So as you can see, the desk is uh, not... So there, see, there's like card lane room here um, to put the clamp on. So I actually am using it on my calculus textbook, as you can see here, um, that I'm not using anymore because it's thick and it gets the job done. <laughs> and it's kind of ghetto, but whatever. Um, so this is the same as when I was at home. So, you know, I've got my Twitter here. Let me take a look at what's going on in Twitter land. Ooh, 837 followers. I don't remember how, I mean, how many I had in the last one, but I'll have to check that out. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see the comparison, I guess. And then, uh, same stuff, you know, Logitech G710 Plus um, mechanical keyboard with backlighting, brown switches, O-rings, pretty nice. Uh, Razer Death Adder mouse, still the same mouse pad that's getting destroyed. I really need to get a new one. Um, Audio Technica, ATHM 50s, those are the same from before. Um, but since my last video, I started doing a lot of speed running, a lot more speed running, and so this is when the setup gets weird. So, first off, you'll notice this, which is a Wii U, a Wii U console, and then I've got the Amiibo here. I'm actually using it as a stand for my webcam. Um, we saw the Good Luck Fox, he's still here. I think, I think people wanted to call him Fire, Firefox, and you know, Raise Fire, I don't know. The anime glasses, very important. Some chapstick. You got all your desk essentials here. Um, this is the Acer 120Hz. This is an Asus 60Hz. And um, here's where the setup gets gets really funky for speedrunning stuff. So obviously, I, I speedrun Sunshine right now. That's my main game. But the Wii U doesn't play GameCube games. So what I have is I have a Wii in the back, which is right here. And um, you can see it's connected to the controllers connected to it and all that jazz. Um, but in order to you know, show my gameplay on stream, we have this guy right here. He's covered up, because he glows blue, and at nighttime I don't want to like... Yeah, I can see the reflection on the ceiling up there, so like, whatever. And so this is the Avermedia LGP, which stands for, I think it's like Live Game Reportable or something. And it's a USB uh, capture card, um, and it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll do my best to explain. And then we've just got a mess of cords here. And so to kind of explain my setup, I've got the Wii connected to the Avermedia, my Wii U also connected to the Avermedia, and uh, they both go in here, like there's, well, this is I think where the uh, Wii goes into, and then the Wii U goes in here through HDMI, one of these cords, and anyways, um, then there's an out cord, so you know, you send your video feed in, the Avermedia sends it out to whatever device you want, and so then they, I've got an HDMI cable that goes from the Avermedia to the back of this monitor, and what that does is it allows me to stream both, um, not even stream, like I can just play games on it, both um, Wii and Wii U things, which is nifty. 
Um, but something to keep in mind is if you're going to do Wii gameplay, you have to get these these uh, component cables. I think it's component. I can't remember. I always get composite and component mixed up. Anyways, the five-pronged cables that allow you to stream, or that allow you to play the game in HD, because it does not support the standard red, yellow, and white cables that you normally find. Um, so yeah, that's what that does. It's a really cool thing. Um, and then what we have here is we have actually a Switch, um, as you can see, a uh, 5 port gigabit desktop Switch. And what this does is, at my dorm we only have one Ethernet port, but I want to play my with my Wii U online, and for whatever reason, the wireless connection that we have... Oh man, this thing's going down. Alright, cool. The wireless connection we have at my university doesn't connect to Nintendo devices, so my only option was to get um, the wired thing, but since there's only one wired port, or sorry, one Ethernet port, then I got this switch that allows me to um, pretty much split the internet connection. So one of these cables goes into my computer, which goes down there, that's how I can stream. The other one goes into the back of the Wii U. Um, over there, you kind of see it's this blue cable. Where is it? There we go. Man, this is gonna be this is gonna be hectic to take care of whenever I have to pack this up in a day or two to go home. Um, but yeah, so what this does is it allows me to have two things connected wiredly to the internet, not wirelessly, uh, with one Ethernet port, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's about it for my setup. If you have any questions, I can try to explain. I know there's just a, a ton of cords back there, but uh, I'll do my best. Um, oh, and so here's my Hori pad. I got a new one. And I use that for Diddy Kong Racing and other stuff, but I play that on emulator, so that's what this is for. Oh, actually, let me explain this. So this is just a USB cable to both GameCube and Nintendo. So right now I have it connected to... Wait, sorry, Nintendo 64. So right now I have the Nintendo 64 controller connected, which is this Hori pad here, through that, and then, you know, it's USB, so I can use it for whatever. Um, and then, of course, you can do the same thing with GameCube controller. Very good for, like, net play and stuff if you ever want to play Smash Online. Anyways, that's pretty much my setup. Sorry for the brief explanation, or maybe too thorough. Some of you probably don't care. But if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. I'll try to do a better job of answering. I know I did a bad job on my last setup. Um, so, all right, let's explain more. Dirty clothes hamper. There's some clothes in there. Um, it's cool stuff. There's my bag. I was studying for finals earlier, so I set it down there. Uh, I mean, your typical stuff. Like, I've got this freezer, but I'm... I apparently don't like eating, so I only have one bottle of Coke, and I don't even drink that Coke that's only in there because it has my name on it. <laughs> uh, so, but normal people would put food in there, and then of course you need know, a microwave. Oh, got a yeah, paper towel on there, I should probably throw that out. Um, air conditioner, I can control the settings and stuff. Trash, scale. Um, so normally this chair is empty, but because I'm moving to go home soon. It's been cold lately. I've had sweatshirts out in my jacket, and uh, so there's that. And then, you know, just miscellaneous other stuff that I'm not really using all that often. Um, here, I don't know, my room is a lot of storage. It's like I've got my Wii U box, textbooks up there. Um, this is kind of like my gaming section. Yeah, I've got my other Hori, the one that's kind of messed up, and um, my N64 controller. Wii box, games, you know, there's my copy of Sunshine. Um, what else do we have here? You know, uh, my shaving stuff, more games, this is actually my Wii, sorry, my 3DS bag. Uh, dining things, whatever. This is really messy right now too, but this is kind of just my nightstand I use for whatever. I've got my alarm clock, you can see it's 1.14 a.m. It's actually really late, I need to go to bed because I've got a final Wii U gamepad. It's me, Hola. I need to get a haircut, I'm doing that tomorrow. Uh, um, food college students anthem right here. College students bread and butter. Ramen. Actually, I haven't had it as much as I did last year, but it's still good to have, I guess. Um, just random stuff. You know, hairbrush. Ninja Turtle glasses. You got all the essentials. Um, yeah. So this is my bed. I always make it because why would you not want to make your bed? Besides, um, you can use it as a couch. Like, I don't know, look at that, it's, it's just really comfortable, I can just sit down. But, um, 
actually this was not <laughs> this this was not against the wall when it when I came into the dorm room in fact the this bed was not actually touching any walls it was literally right in the middle of the room I don't know why or who thought that was a good idea but uh they just had a bed like in the middle of the room whatever I turned it and put it up against this thing and it's been really nice but uh yeah make my bed every day which is cool and um I mean, this is pretty much it. I guess I can show you the closet. I should probably do that, I guess. Let me do that. Go ahead and move this. So you can kind of see what it's like in one of the closets in my dorm room. I actually have another one over there. But I don't use that, really. I just use that to, like, store things in that I'm not using. <laughs> so I'll have to take it out whenever I move back home to get boxes and stuff. But whatever. Anyways, here we go. So, uh, it doesn't have a light. Unfortunately, it's dark up there. But, um... You've got room to fit all your clothes, and then I got this thing which allows me to put more stuff, and then I think I have, like, a suitcase down there? I don't know. You probably can't see that anyways, it's probably just black, but yeah. So there's my closet. It's pretty spacious for just one person, especially considering there's a second one. Oh lord, let me close this. This is always a pain with my new mic stand. <laughs> oh god, microphone going down. Don't do that, microphone. Alright, we're good. You can just stay there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is my room. Oh, and let me explain this towel. <laughs> People are probably like, why is there a towel on the floor? This guy's gross. So, I'm not even gonna put the, the phone down there because it'd be dumb, but there's a crack under the door, and uh, for those of you who've been watching my stream lately, you know, lately a few people have complained in my hall, well, it only happened once really, that I was being too loud. And so what I do is when I'm streaming, I'll move the towel right there, cover up the, um, the bottom half of the door, and it kind of muffles the sound, so I just keep a towel there because um, it's easiest, but <laughs> yeah. So again, sorry about the messy room. Um, I was hoping that things would be not as messy, but before um, I started recording this, I realized that things were messy. Oh, let me explain this too, for those of you who don't know. So this is like my charging station. I've got uh, this cord here for charging this thing, the, the Wii U gamepad. Hey, it's me again. Holla! No, no, I'm sorry. I should, I should have never said that. <laughs> um, and then we've got phone charging thing. Goes into my phone. And then this for my Apple products. So like my iPad. iPad's over there. And my iPod. And, uh, yeah. It's kind of messy, but, I mean, what can you do? It gets the job done, I guess. Oh, and, um, here's my Illuminati note. Apparently someone on my on my floor was watching my stream once, and he wrote me this message. That was pretty sick. And this was the time that I got on the speedrun that I was doing that stream. He wanted to verify that I knew. What a creeper. Illuminati. Alright, later dudes. Have a good one.